let's chat about my May stationery haul. If you watched any of my April videos, you might have seen that in April I gave myself a no-buy rule when it came to stationery because, let's face it, I love it and I would like to buy all the notebooks and all the planners and all the pens. So I gave myself a no-buying in April and then in May I let myself run wild and buy things that I had my eye on for a bit. So today I want to share with you some of the things I got and how I'm using them or how I am planning to use them. So let's Let's start with this stack. So in this stack I have three items to share with you. Some of them you've seen in part but I have a new addition so here we go. Uh, first one here is this super cute vintage coach planner. So this one is a passport size and I got it to see if I can fit any of my passport or pocket size notebooks in here. Um, good thing it's super cute and it does fit a passport. Bad thing it is is kind of small so it does not but the way it comes by itself Itself. It has uh, its own little tiny pen and it comes with an address book. So this one is a coach brand address book and it's your old school, you know, pre-digital kind of an address book where you have your alphabets here and in here you have three spaces on each page for, you know, name, address, a home, a cell number, uh, even fax, believe it or not, uh, email address, and then you have basically here for the whole alphabet, and then you have some area codes, world times, international codes, so things like that. So basically a little address book for world traveler, and you can put a credit card in here or so, and I imagine you can probably take it out. I mean, I know you can take it out and then put your passport in. So I thought it was super adorable. Uh, I love Coach brand. I don't have a lot of their pieces, but the pieces that I do have are so cute. And you can always find something like this for uh, not a very expensive price. I actually got this one off of eBay. I was looking around there. If I could find there a Coach cover for a pocket or passport size notebook, I found this one and it was so cute. These next two are kind of related to each other. So last year I was in Hobonichi Techo that uses Tomoe River paper and I kept on hearing about Midori MD paper which is also found on Friendly, not as thin and it has this lovely cream color. So because I am on the pocket slash A6 slash password size notebooks, I decided to try out and get a Midori MD paper notebook. So this one, just the regular notebook, is not a chunky one, but it still has a lot of pages. And of course, I got the version that has a graph paper. So it is super cute. I like the size of it. I like the color. I like that it has a border around it. So you can use it either as a notebook or as a planner. Um, and because it does have these little spaces here you can write a month a name on here or date or whatever header that you need so even though it's a plain notebook it does have some structure to it to make a little planner out of it and I like that it has little dots here and here and to delineate where the half of the page is and there are some dots here too to divide the page in three uh, parts I believe and I like how it comes package with this uh, really thin like a parchment paper. I think it's so cute and I believe this one is A6 size so it will fit into any cover that fits Hobonichi A6 and I'm thinking to use this one for affirmation notes uh, for everyday kind of a gratitude because it is small and portable and it also actually comes with a little page marker here. And the reason that I said that these two are relatable is you might have seen this cover in one of my previous videos. I actually got it to house Moleskine notebook. It was a thick notebook with enough pages for the whole year, but that Moleskine notebook was kind of narrow. So even though it was a really lovely setup, it kind of bothered me a little bit that it was narrower than the cover. And I really wanted to use this cover for daily kind of a journaling. And I also wanted to use my recently purchased Twisby Go pen with that notebook but because Moleskine is not exactly fountain pen friendly I was trying to find something to put into this lovely A5 cover that is as thick as that Moleskine notebook but also fountain pen friendly and guess what I did I went out and got myself 
and Midori MD. So this one is a page a day. So it's one page, uh, one day notebook. So there are uh, 366, I believe, pages in here. They are Midori MD paper. I put just the back page into the cover. As you can see, it's A5 notebook with A5 cover. It fits perfectly on all sides. They were made for each other. And the weight size with this cover, the pen fits just perfectly in here. It's a fountain pen and I am able to use it with this fountain friendly uh, paper. And as I mentioned, Midori MD come in this lovely cream color and this particular one is dot grid and the dot grid here is in this light blue and this notebook is stitched and the stitches are also made out of the same blue light blue uh, thread let me find it if I can as you can see here a little bit and I thought it was such a cute touch and uh, this paper and this notebook is designed for you to use it however you want but if you want to use it as a planner there are two dots here on each page and it is for your date so you put you know your date month and a year and another cute thing about this particular notebook is that it has the corner of each page perforated this way and the reason it is made this way so then it's basically like your page marker as you use the page you tear off you know you bend it and tear off this corner and then you know where you last been and you just go to the next page after the one that you already tore off uh, i am using it uh, daily i use it just for journaling so i'm not going to show you my pages but uh, i do not tear them off i don't know i just want to keep the notebook as is but i think it is such a cute detail one difference between this md notebook and the other notebooks i've seen online is that because it has this feature and these corners basically serve as a page marker this notebook does not have the usual ribbon page markers that other md notebooks have so something to keep in mind but i think it is so beautiful i love this paper the quality is amazing i do write with my fountain pen every day and there is no ghosting or bleeding through as you can see it looks really good and i love it and i love that it has so many pages as you can see it's a nice chunky notebook and i cannot wait to use it all up this year for my journaling needs and the next cute item i want to share with you is this little baby canvas tote i got this one from amazon i had an eye on a little canvas tote for a while uh, to hold my smallest of planners and then i found this one so this one in this light green um, almost like a sage color they also come in several ones like cream one i believe there is a black one i want to say red or green i'll put link to everything down below i got this one because i really like this very calm uh, sagey green and it has a uh, light gray handles uh, this toad also comes with a shoulder strap it's basically of the same gray color as this so if you want to use it as crossbody uh, toad or cross crossbody purse you can i just gonna use it as a toad for now and as you can see even though it's super small it fits a lot so it has this little front pocket where i'm keeping scissors uh, these square stickers and also a little bit of washi tape and then inside it's big enough to fit several things so just for testing purposes i put my passport more term in here i put my hobonichi techo a6 and also my kindle and as you can see they fit just fine and what i really like about this toad besides having uh you know the handle to use it as a crossbody it also has a zipper usually totes don't have zippers and they're just basically you know the square like this rectangle or container but this one does have a zipper you just hide it off and then this way your toad can stay completely enclosed nothing will fall out it's not gonna get dusty things will not fall out or fall into it and i thought that was such a nice detail and it was very inexpensive uh definitely under 20 dollars and as i mentioned i'll link to it down below so i think it is so cute it's wide enough but also small enough at the same time nice shape and of course it stands on the desk with no problem and i think it is so cute and when you need to take stuff out you just unzip it and take things out and put things back in 
and of course you can use it for whatever you need you can hold your little planners or you can hold just your supplies uh, if you want you know you hold your book and a pen a little notebook glasses things like that i think it's really cute especially if you want to take your journaling or planning on the go if you want to go to a park and not drag all your things with you you can have this little cute purse to put a couple of your planners put some of your supplies a book or two uh, your own glasses as i mentioned and take it on the go and the last item here I want to share with you is this zip up planner. So I wanted to have the personal size zip up planner for a while. I also wanted to try uh, rings planner to see if I can use it or how I can use it. I found this one on eBay. It was very inexpensive. I believe it's a pleather, not a real leather, but it looks really good. It's a good condition. And what I like about it the most is that it's not just a ring planner, which is on this first section here. So you open it, it's your regular ring based planner, six rings. It's a personal size. And on this side, it has one, two, three, four, five, six uh, pockets for your credit cards. And of course, because it has rings, it can be either your ring planner uh, or what I'm using it for is a budget envelopes. Uh, as you can see, I got some envelopes uh, from Amazon um, in my video about budgeting. You can see how I got them and I used to house them in a different ring based planner just the budget specific one from Amazon. Uh, this one is your ring planner, but you can also use it for your budgeting and your cash stuffing. And so I have some of the envelopes here uh, and it also comes with this uh, ruler that you know you can use as a today marker as a pen loop here, which I'm not using because uh, I don't want my pen to run into envelopes. So I just put pen in here. And then the best part about it, even though it's a ring planner on one side, it is also a wallet on another side and here you have your usual wallet you have space here to put either cash into or checkbook you have this zippered space for your coins and more pockets for your credit cards i'm just holding some coupons and some gift cards that i have in here of course i keep coins in here so if you're looking for a planner a ring binder for your budgeting purposes for example or shopping you can consider something like this again i found it on ebay it was inexpensive and as i showed you can use this side for budgeting and cash stuffing and this one for your wallet needs and there you have it a little bit of stationary shopping i did in may all of these items were not expensive they are adorable they add to my planning routine help me out with everyday life be it very practical like budgeting or something fun like reading and decorating my planners and if you want to check these items out for yourself i will put links down below to whatever i can find and if you like these kind of videos please like please subscribe and leave me a note down below of which of these was your favorite which fun shopping stationery finds did you have in the month of may and i will see you in the next video and until then you take care bye